a try. Well, Isaac, uh, your first official week, I guess second official week in, in Wallaby camp, this one a bit more footy. What's it been like in, in Cessnock so far for you? Yeah, mate, it's been unreal so far. It's been great to get in here with the guys and start getting in a bit more footy-based content. It's been, you know, it's another step up from uh, obviously Super Rugby and stuff like that, and it's just been unreal so far. Um, yourself coming in as a, a young lock, just 20s last year into Wallabies now. What's it been like? Have you been in awe of some of the blokes or, like, have you been sort of starstruck in by any of the players? Uh, for me, no, not really. I've just... Um, Love to come in and getting to learn off everyone because obviously they're the best in the country. It's just been a real learning experience for me. I'm just taking in as much information and as much um, help as I can. Uh, around the lock position, there's uh, Adam Coleman who's really established himself as a, as a Wallaby lock and, and also Rory Arnold. What's it been like competing against them in, uh, in some of the more physical drills? Mate, it's been unreal. You know, they're both really good and they're really solid players and it's been good just to see how they train and how they handle themselves around contact and stuff. Um, in particular, Adam Coleman leading that forward pack and, and calling the line out. Have you been able to learn much off him or do you speak to him back at the hotel, studying uh, the opposition plays and whatnot? Well, I've had a bit of a chat to him around just my uh, development myself because there's a few things I need to sharpen up on. He's just been really helpful and helped me get there. Um, what do you think... Uh, but first of all, this this week in tra training camp, what have you made of it? Is everything getting a bit fine-tuned or is it just all about leading into to next week? Yeah, you can see that we're really starting to build towards the next week ahead. Everyone's really competing for a spot and it's really um, been great. Um, mate, yourself, an Ipswich lad, school Ipswich grammar. The NRC is going for a game there in Ipswich this season. What do you make of that, taking taking footy back to your old haunt? Yeah, it's great to see there's a game getting played in Ipswich, you know. There's a lot of, it's a really good football community out in Ipswich and I just encourage everyone to get down to the game and check it out. Uh, the NRC in particular, a, a strong development pathway for someone like yourself as well. What do you make of the NRC? What, what do you think of it? Yeah, the NRC is a great stepping stone, you know. It's that step above club rugby, it's really fast and physical and it just gets you ready for the next step. Um, just back on to, to Bledisloe stuff, what, have you heard any whispers from, from Czech in regards to selection for next week or have you got an idea in your head of, of where you might be placed amongst the locks? Oh mate, no idea, it's really a tough situation, everyone's really fighting for a spot and I just think it's whoever's performing the best at training will get selected. Uh, there's a few Reds locks here, you've got Rob Simmons and Kane, have they been helping you ease into to Wallaby camp life? Yeah, definitely. They're both uh, great guys. They've helped me throughout the season and they're still helping me now, settling in, and it's been great. Um, looking back on June, that Lucan was in, involved then, but you were invited to the Player of National Interest camp in Canberra. Did you have any bit of banter? You're both involved in the 20s setup at the same time. Did you have a bit of chat between the two of you? Uh, after he got selected in June and, and, and you unfortunately missed out? Uh, no, me and Luke are great mates. We were just stoked for each other that we got the opportunity and I was really stoked that he got the opportunity to rip in Taron in June. Um, what do you make of Czech as a, as a coach? What's been your f first experiences of him as, um, as head coach of the Wallabies? Mate, he's a really great coach. You know, he really helps the guys out and he's got um, great goals set for the team and it's just good to see how he goes about it. And what about Mario Ledesma? Uh, do you understand him first and foremost with his Argentinian accent? But what's he been like leading the forwards around? Yeah, it was a bit hard at first, but no, I understand him now. But yeah, he's great with his work around the scrum and the line out. It's really helped me personally as a player. Uh, so going into next week, going into Penrith, what's your personal goals um, leading into next Saturday the 19th? My personal goal is really just to rip in next week at training and try and force my way into the team and earn a spot. Do you, do you dream about that wallaby cap and, and, and pulling that on or do you not let yourself get too carried away? Oh, it's been my dream since I started playing rugby but obviously I just got to work hard to earn it first.